Welcome to my home. I've been expecting you. <laughs> you may wonder how I knew you were coming, but see, sooner or later everyone passes through here. Before we start our show in your theater, the producers and distributors wish to take this opportunity to warn you, the theater audience, in the event all the lights should go out and you see a shadow moving past your seat, under no circumstances attempt to drive it away where it may be the person beside you. You may think my warning unnecessary, but in a few moments, I will be a lot safer in here than you will be out there. <laughs> Sometimes after seeing a show of this type, you find yourself walking home alone in the dark, and you hear strange footsteps behind you. And when you turn around to look, if you dare look, you will see nothing. <laughs> For behind every locked door, strange things await you. Creatures from the bowels of the earth. Beings too horrible to describe. But most of all, you will feel that cold, wet, clammy, I told you I would be a lot safer in here than you would be out there. And just think, we have only started. <laughs> <laughs> Vic McGee as the Mad Doctor and the fearless Lieutenant Hudson. James Reason as the impeccable Professor Williams. Clara Nagel as Miss Petrie. Pauline Hilkert as Draculina. Charles Egan as Igor with Joseph Armand, Chris Hampton, Peter DiNoto, Richard Sonny Rodriguez, Walter Richard, Judith Carroll, Gordy Garrett, Jean Louise, Mary Dwyer, and Constance L. Smith. Picture-taking machine run by Austin McKinney. <laughs> assisted by Vic Goss. Art director, John Hilkert. Makeup, Jay Lister. Directed by David L. Hewitt. Assistant Director, Bill McIntyre. High Fidelity Noises by Frank Allison Coe. Sound Stuff, run by Roger Sword. Writing by Ernie Reed and Phil Miller. was cut up and stuck together by Bernie Chopper. A 
original screenplay by David L. Hewitt and Jay Lister. Based on a bad dream by Gary Haycock. Original story found on a gum wrapper by Wayne Anderson. Produced by David L. Hewitt, the fearless showman. Associate producer, Ray Park, also very fearless, also a showman. last year. Well, after last year's knee chasing parties and trouble those kids caused, I'll bet they'll be back tonight. Tell me one thing, Lieutenant. Now, why in the world would they put this place? Oh, several reasons. The crazy rumors, for one. It's completely isolated and we're 20 miles from town. Rumors? What rumors? Oh, the usual kind. People around here claim to hear weird noises late at night. Always after midnight, of course. Monsters, you know. Well, any of this true? This house was owned by some doctor, scientist years ago. Since then, he became a mad doctor who changes teenagers into monsters and has ghouls and fiends working for him. Whatever the latest fad is. Now, oh, kids, the silly things they come up with. Do you think I pay any attention to that? I doubt it. We'll swing out here about two and we'll find something. Now, well, it's getting late. Yes, I've got to get back to town. The dean wants to talk to all of the counselors about the hazards of this initiation week. There's going to be a lot of trouble tonight. I'll pick you up later and we'll swing out here about two. All right. Cobwebs in here. It looks like nobody, but nobody's been in here for the past year. Yeah, nobody but fighters. Boy, they sure picked the places. <laughs> hey, lights for it. Good, that'll save our candles. What a house. It looks like a horror hotel. That's just what it is. Your room is right this way. Oh, Danny, don't you ever stop joking. Ah, you girls are going to enjoy this. Very funny. Well, for fun tonight. Yeah, the cobwebs are going to scare you out first. Oh, it'll take more than cobwebs to scare us out. Will you please make up your mind switching of the cellar gun rooms you want? Hey, that stuff is heavy. You girls must take half your house with you for one night. Oh. Let's look around. Hey, <laughs> hurry. Gosh, I don't What about the house? Oh, These other rooms are full of junk. Wonder what's in all those crates. Oh, no, I can't see a thing for all the cobwebs and stuff. It's coffins. Coffins? Yeah, I mean, that piece of the bodies in it. Sure, like on the late show. That's right, and that 12 to mad doctor's old ass red stop in some monsters. Ah! You know, monsters could take lessons from you. What about this room here? Yeah, <laughs> Let's go in this room. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm scary. Oh, I wish it were all right. That looks okay. Anyway, it's the biggest. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, we can forget the upstairs. Ugh. Change your mind now and we'll. They don't want to change their minds. They aren't afraid of the things in here. Well, Rah! let's get settled. Did you ever see such a mess? Well, there you go. All the comforts of home, girl. Hey, a fireplace. Uh, with your permission, uh, ladies, we'll take our leave. You wouldn't dare. Hey, rat, wait just a minute. Aren't you going to build us a fire? A oh, fire, oh, me? wouldn't want us to freeze, would you? You see, we won't be dressed for a cold night. You gotta like sex. Yeah, we know. 
What about that fire? Okay, okay. We we wouldn't want you to freeze now, would we? There's nothing worse than a cold girl. Knock it off, or you'll be instant monster. Ha, ah, he already is. Storm's getting worse. Yeah, we gotta get back to town. Hey, the chimney's blocked. Well, that's that. Well, what's wrong? Well, it's blocked. You just have to rob it without a fire. Oh, no! Well, it really isn't too cold. A fire would have been nice. Well, there isn't much more we can do here. No, come on, let's go. <laughs> Sure you don't want to come back with us? Two more hours to dwell. Don't be silly, Johnny. If there was anything really dangerous, we wouldn't be here. It's just a sorority initiation. You'll be back in ten hours, and you better be here. Don't forget that this house belongs to a mad doctor. Yeah, that's right. Mad doctor, I'm suffering from a lack of affection. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to put you on the mind spell. Oh! Look into my eyeball. Yeah, that's it. You are a chicken. <laughs> no, you are something else. Flash. What are you? I'm a toilet. Why don't you guys take the mad doctor and his talking toilet home? Sounds like he needs a plumber. They're too proud to ask us to stay. What well, say we offer them a superhuman protection service? Specializing in steroid initiates and haunted houses only. How about that, Rick? We're in a haunted house. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's, let's go back to the camps and get some monster stuff. Hey, Tom, crazy. Wicked. Yeah. yeah. We better hurry if we want to get back by 12. Yeah, it's 10 now. Let's, let's move, move it. it. <laughs> I see we have visitors tonight, Mad Doctor. Yes, ain't that nice? <laughs> Are you going to extend your hospitality tonight? Oh, I sure am. We got a lot of girls tonight. <laughs> we got a lot of things to do. Eagle's going to go up and get you one in just a little few minutes now. <laughs> Big G, I told you you'd drink too much tonight. Give me that back. Give me that back here, Big G. You give me that back, I'll turn you back into a human being again. Come on now, Big G. Go up and get me one of the girls. Help you go bring me one of the girls down. Now, come on now. Hurry up now. We get up. It's getting late. Come on now. Hurry up, Big G. Come on. No, 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 no. Not that. We're up the stairs, Big G. Hurry up now. Come on now. Hurry and bring me one of the girls down. Well, they offer to. Gee, that would have been nice. But it's better that they left. Uh-huh. Besides, the sorority may decide to check on us. Hey, I never thought of that. Do you think they'd send someone out? <laughs> Could be. You know, old Hatchet mm. Face herself could show up now. <laughs> the boys are gone and we're here. Well, I can just see the look on her face now. I just thought of something. What? Well, I bet they're going to come back. Yeah, remember how they kept talking about midnight? And the way they were acting? Oh, oh no. I'll bet they do show up at 12. It's almost that now. What a riot! Well, maybe we could get them to leave. We'd never make the sorority. We make it to the dean's office. Yeah, yeah. We're out of college. Well, I don't know what we're so worried about. In this storm, no one's going to show up. Well, I'm going to find some place to wash up.
Calibrate the setting a bit, Big G. <laughs> You're ready for the brain transformation, Big G? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now to transplant a brain from a cat boy to a human being. <laughs>
University. No, I don't know the number. How many universities are in this crummy town? <laughs> Just connect me with Professor Williams' office. Will you answer your phone, you big clown? Stop reading those comic books. Hello? Oh, Professor Williams speaking. This is Miss Petrie, Professor. I live on the old Thurston Road. <laughs> I believe your students call it Haunted House Lane or something like that. <laughs> That's what I'm calling about. I live a half a mile from that miserable place. Yes, Miss Petrie, but what seems to be your problem? Yes? Yes? What? The racket they're making, I don't know. I can hear like it was on my front porch. Of course I'm sure they're from the college. I read ahead in the script. <laughs> I wouldn't be wasting time calling you if I weren't. They came tearing past her a good hundred miles an hour. It's disgraceful the way you people let them run wild. Yes, mm-hmm, uh, of course. Yeah. All right, Mrs. Petrie, we'll come out and have a look around. Yeah, well, thank you for calling. Goodbye. You're sick. Disgraceful. Horrible little monsters. In my day, we didn't do that. Lieutenant Hudson, please. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Uh, this is Williams. Well, your hunch was right. Mm-hmm. Operation Party Crash. This is gonna be fantastic, McCoy. My greatest scientific feat. <laughs> Big G, I'm going to make you disappear. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. 
<laughs> oh, we got some nice ones tonight. <laughs> Which one shall we take first, Dracula? Yeah! <laughs> 